So this is my experiment. Um, I'm charging these two capacitors up to, up to 30 volts. And they're hooked up in parallel. And they're each 30,000 microfarads each. So it's a total of about a joule of energy stored in there. And then they're being discharged through these power diodes um, to make a unidirectional current flow through this coil of superconducting wire. And it's going through this 40 amp automotive relay. And I'm switching it with, uh, this is just hooked up to the coil of the relay. So this is not switching the power from here. But anyway, that's just what I'm doing, and I'm looking for any movement here on this little wooden bead suspended down here, or any movement in the uh, water vapor. Just add a little bit of water in there. And then what I'm going to do is discharge current. Discharging current right now. Charging. Okay, three, two, one, fire. Three, two, one. I'm going to add a little bit of water there. I don't want to look for any sort of vortexing, vortexing or swirling when I discharge uh, the current through here. that would indicate to me that there's some kind of a force. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, discharge. Okay, another little quick experiment here. I got some superconducting wire in the middle of this copper pipe here, which I'm going to cool down. I'm just going to straight discharge it through the capacitor through here. Okay, quick test, quick test here, just looking for movement here on this little pendulum. Discharging capacitor, nothing that I can tell. Well, if you've made it this far in the video, uh, thanks for your support and uh, your interest in these experiments. At first, I wasn't sure if I was going to post these because uh, they were rather, uh, I did them uh, rather quickly and a little bit crudely. 
but I wanted to try while I still had some liquid nitrogen left, so here you go. Uh, this one here that you're looking at was, um, I made probably a few months ago now and just decided to give it a shot. The whole idea I'm trying to test here is the idea of electron momentum developing in the superconductor because the drift velocity would be presumably a lot higher than in ordinary copper. So I wanted to see if this uh, electron momentum could be transferred to objects or bodies outside of the conductor as was demonstrated in Claude Power's experiment and uh, Podklonoff's experiment uh, with the uh, superconductors and the dis electrical discharging. And I don't make any claims here to make any quality or exact replication of their work. By no means, I'm just uh, interpreting some basic underlying principles and, and making my own designs here, my own experiments. At least one of the obvious weaknesses of my design here is that uh, I'm using ordinary quick connects on the relay. This will also introduce a small amount of resistance in the circuit and also quick connects on the capacitor too. So yeah, a couple drawbacks there in my design.